Hey Divi Nation, thanks for dropping by our documentation to learn all about Divi's gallery modules. Now, for anybody familiar with WordPress, galleries aren't exactly a new thing, but the strength behind Divi's gallery module, of course, is all of the built-in design settings that come with it. So in this video, we're gonna show you not only how to use the gallery module, but also how to get a bit creative with the design settings and implementation. Check it out. In this video, I'm gonna give an overview of Divi's gallery module. Sharing a collection of images is always a great idea uh, whenever you want to visually engage users with your content. And the gallery module lets you do this by allowing you to create and organize galleries anywhere on your website. The Divi Builder Gallery module comes in both grid and slider formats, and you can even uh, use pagination uh, with larger galleries as well. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a closer look at the gallery module. If you're familiar with WordPress, you're probably familiar with the built-in gallery that WordPress allows you to deploy in your website. And it looks something like this. Uh, you simply go to the back end and you use a, uh, the add media library, or excuse me, the add media button. And then you just insert, or excuse me, uh, choose to create gallery here, select your images for that gallery and then create the gallery. It then deploys your short code here and which displays your images in a gallery like so. Then when you click on one of these images, it goes to this designated page of the image. So uh, this, this is kind of the default WordPress gallery. The Divi gallery module um, is a little bit more powerful. I should say a lot more powerful in that it gives you a whole lot of more options for designing your your grid layouts if you want to keep that or even deploying it on a slider so uh, as you can see I've deployed a full width uh, grid layout for my gallery or image gallery here so I want to just kind of show you how this is done uh, very easily using the Divi Builder so to do that I'm going to enable my visual builder for this page And I'm just going to go ahead and delete this module. And there you go. Um, I'm actually going to delete the entire section here. So we'll start from scratch. First thing we want to do is add a regular section. And we'll give it a, a one column row layout. And we're going to find our gallery module. Go ahead and insert that. And by default, it's going to start pulling in some random images from my media gallery there. So I'm going to have to update my gallery. But um, and so under the content tab, you'll see one of my first options is gallery images. And so I can go ahead and choose to update gallery uh, by adding the images that I want to my gallery here. Uh, so I'm going to select these here. All right. And I'm going to click Add to Gallery. And so this is going to be my gallery images here. And I can go ahead and add captions for each one of these. Just put, just put a couple of captions here just so you can see it. I can also choose to put it in a random order by selecting this checkbox here. And then I can rearrange the order. I could reverse the order. This button kind of helps that process. If you want to just completely reverse the order that it is in here now, you can do that. Uh, but once you have all your images set up with your captions, if you need them to, uh, you can go ahead and click Update Gallery. OK, so as you can see, it's doing a number of things. Um, right out of the box. It is pulling my images. It's adding an overlay, a hover overlay, which when I click it will deploy the image in a light box. And that light box overlay is actually a slider, light box slider, which I can scroll through my images in the light box um, mode. You can also see this; these numbers here are actually the title of the image. 
and then you have the caption underneath if you wanted that option. Uh, the option right underneath or after I've uh, updated my gallery images and you can see uh, this next one which option which says images number this is the number of images you want displayed on your gallery um, if you go over this amount it will automatically show this pagination here unless you of course disable it so I'm gonna actually add 20 images here um, and then going down uh, these elements here uh, you you can choose to toggle off the the title and captions so if I don't want to show those I can take those off uh, I can also choose not to show pagination um, we only have 20 videos so you don't see the, the pagination links there but you can choose to disable that and then you can also add a background to your gallery module if you needed to. Maybe you wanted a, a dark background or something. You can add that dark background here. I'm actually going to, to leave it for now as its default white because we're going to actually make it full screen. In the design tab, you have uh, more options to further customize your gallery module. For, in, for example, the layout, um, you can choose the grid layout, which is the default, or you can choose to actually have a slider layout. So this is a, a good way to create an image slider on your site in just a few seconds. Just bear in mind that the, um, the images will, um, if your image heights differ, the, the height of your module will also differ. As you can see, the the um, the page kind of shrinks along with the image so it's a good idea to kind of keep all your images the same height if you can to avoid that jumping around so it's a pretty cool slider uh, option if you wanted to choose that layout and if you do choose that layout of course all these other options would apply um, but for now let's go ahead and choose grid layout Um, the grid layout comes with this option option of having uh, your thumbnails be landscape or portrait. The overlay, uh, this is the overlay when you hover. Uh, you can change the zoom icon there. Right now it's a blue, but I could change that if I wanted to. Let's go ahead and make it a white. Um, and then let's change the overlay color here to a dark overlay. Maybe change that opacity, bring it down. There you go, that's a nice overlay. And of course the icon that pops up can be changed too, but I like the plus symbol there, I'm gonna keep it. Uh, there's an option to add an image box shadow to these images here, uh, which is an awesome option. And you can choose whatever box shadow you like. Um, you can also uh, change the settings of the shadow to further customize it um, here with all of your images to make the perfect box shadow. All right, for now I'm going to choose no shadow because we're going to have um, we're not going to be able to see the shadows anyway um, whenever we make the grid full width. The text color can change. Uh, that is if you have your your element uh, options selected to show title and caption, uh, you'll be able to change that text there uh, for your title, also for your caption as well. Uh, you can also change the text of your pagination if you have that one enabled. That will show up down here. And you can also you know, center your pagination if you want to, which is a, a good option as well. Border, uh, this is a border for the uh, individual images there. So it's, it's a good way to add a different look 
maybe add some color to your grid. You can do that if you need to. I'm going to go ahead and disable it for now. Sizing, of course, is the sizing of your module. So it'll shrink the size of the gallery. And then you can just center it. If that's if you want a smaller gallery option. Let's go back to default. The spacing. I could create more spacing. This is the spacing around my module, not around the individual images. So bear in mind. The box shadow is for the this one's for the entire module. Um, so you can see that adds that box shadow around there. And all the box shadow options uh, are available for the module as well. You can add an animation to your uh, gallery as it pops up on the page or as you scroll to it on the page. And it comes with uh, all of your regular animation styles along with the options for each. And in the advanced tab, you also have this ability to add your unique CSS IDs and classes if you're using an external style sheet, that is, uh, to target your module. Or you can add your inline CSS code uh, for any element of your module here. So a convenient way to target these specific elements. And you can also choose to disable the visibility of this module on certain devices as you see fit. All right, so I am done with our gallery here, but there's one last uh, step I wanna do. Uh, since right now it is, I, I wanna make it full screen. I want this gallery to not have any of these spaces around the images or any of the space around uh, on the sides here. So no margins. Um, and I want the images to kind of be in a full width grid. So to do that, I'm going to have to edit my columns uh, here and inside my row. So I'm going to go to my row settings. I'm going to go to the design tab and I'm going to go under spacing, excuse me, sizing. Then I'm going to select make this full width. And as you can see, it's already starting to you know, span the full width of the page, but I still have the, the margins around here. And the way you fix that is you set a custom gutter width. Uh, the default is three, and the gutter width is the distance, you know, between your columns here, the margins. So if I set it to one, that actually gets rid of all of my margin. So with those two steps, now I have a full width grid. I'm going to save that out. Um, there's a one other thing I need to fix here is that in this margin up here, um, I'm just going to go ahead and use the visual builder. And for convenience, I'm just going to drag it uh, so that my uh, my grid is flush up against this top header section here. And I'll do the same at the bottom. And there you go. Now I have a full width grid layout for my image gallery.